So, electronegativity scale is an arbitrary scale. They are based on various types of experimental data like bond energy, the dipole moment, the ionization potential and the electron affinity. Most commonly used scales are Pollen scale, Mulliken scale, Sanderson scale, Alfred and Rocha's scale. The first one is Pollen's scale. I want to talk about this one in detail. The color shows the value of the electron negativity. So this bright color over here, it got more electronegativity when compared to the whitish one. So Pauling scale is based on an empirical relation between the energy of a bond and the electronegativity of bonded atoms. Consider a bond A B between two dissimilar atoms A and B of your molecule A B. Let the bond energies of AA, BB and AB can be represented as energy of AA, energy of BB and energy of A and B respectively. It may be seen that the bond dissociation energy of AB is almost higher than the geometric mean of the bond dissociation energy of AA and BB bonds. So, energy of A and B should be greater than the root of energy of AA and energy of BB. So, the difference is related, delta is related to the difference in the electronegativities of A and B according to the following equation. This is the energy difference. So, as I told, this is the energy difference between the AB, AA and BB. So, root of 0.208 into delta is equal to XA minus XB whole square. So, where XA and XB are the electronegativities of A and B respectively. This equation can be written as 0.208 into root delta is equal to XA minus XB. The factor 0.208 rises from the conversion of K cals to electron volt. Pauling scale. Considering arbitrarily the electronegativity of hydrogen to be 2.1, Pauling calculated the electronegativities of other elements with the help of this equation. What could be the disadvantage of Pauling scale? The disadvantage of Pauling scale is that the bond energies are not known with any degree of accuracy for many solid elements. That's the major problem.